Hello, welcome to Orphan Espresso. I'm Doug. I'm Barb. And I'd like to show you our system for preparing the Coffee Lot Robot Porter Filter Basket. Uh, we've had the robot for about a year, and uh, I really wanted to use it rather than my standard plumbed in lever machine because um, I was able to use the water, different water formulations and um, more simply change the temperature that I was using and basically have a little fun at the same time. And one of the things that, that is emphasized with the robot is how simple it is. And um, like anyone else, uh, when I wanted to learn how to use the robot, I watched a lot of videos. I watched a lot of Paul Pratt's videos. And he makes it so simple. Throw in the coffee, give it a little tap, push down the screen, add the water, beautiful shot, time after time. Now I was doing okay, but I found a lot of inconsistency in my shots. Sometimes they'd be too fast, sometimes they'd be too slow, and I'd go to my grinder and I would change my grinder settings, and really it wasn't a satisfactory approach to me, and I realized that my problem was dealing with this deep basket. It was very difficult for me to see when I had the coffee bed level. And so with tamping, you can do this, this little wiggling thing, nutating, and, and ascertain that the center of it is straight up and down. But you've, you've already created some variables that weren't there when you started, if you're not very careful. Now, I don't want to have to be very, 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 very careful and OCD when I make my coffee. I just like to make my coffee. And so this is where we developed this rake. Now we went through a number of prototypes. First I had the idea, I said, okay, I just want to move the coffee around. I want to take the high spots into the low spots. So this was our first prototype, a thing of wonder. I okay. like that prototype. <laughs> yeah, this prototype, this, this is a piece of, uh, uh, of a uh, hopper from Alito One that happens to fit fairly well in there, a little wiggly, portafilter gasket from a, a, a FEMA lever machine, and a piece of a cutting board with some wire stuffed in it. Now, one of the, uh, the important things is that we needed a wire that was really close to the edge, and that's this one here. Now, this particular prototype, the wires are too thick, they're too close together. Basically, I moved around a berm of coffee, and when I was done, I had a big pile of coffee on one side. So further experimentation, reducing the number of wires, changing the position, same breadboard, okay, but the length of the wires was important because it, you see this Barb? Yes. The, 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 the edge wire stops right at where the curve begins. We didn't want to go down and scratch the portafilter basket. So that's prototyping for the rake. We ended up with our final product. This is made out of POM, which is trade name Delrin. Okay, so it's POM, steel wires. Then the next thing, I'll show this part. Okay, here we have the invisible porta filter. And when you add your coffee to the basket, and you're being casual about it. If you grind directly into the basket, it's going to be going crooked, but I'm just going to pour this in, and when you pour, you get a very uneven surface. Okay? I use a funnel to pour again. So, on this goes the rake. And we generally even out the surface high spots into low spots, etc. Okay? Now, as you can see, not perfect. So there's some post-rake motions that you do. And there we have the raked surface. Next was the tamping. And uh, for a long time, I simply took the basket, dropped the basket in the porta filter, and pushed it down with my fingers. Once again, this is a little bit um, 
shotgun approach. How uh, am I pushing it down even? Uh, how hard am I pushing it down, etc. So we started to think about this and develop the press. Now this is the prototype press, which is made out of a piece of conduit. Okay, it doesn't exactly fit the basket correctly, but I put a couple of O-rings on it so I had a nice fit. So it is a self-leveling tamper. Okay. One of the things about the screen is that it has these little pyramids on here from the, the way that the, the, the screen is made. So I really wanted to have a good tight interface between all of my components. Bottom of the basket and the, the fluffy surface will press into these little pyramids so I don't have any little air pockets or any other problems. I'm going for a unified puck theory here. So in my unified puck theory this is my screen. This is a little too big for my invisible port filter, so I had to use this. This is a FEMA dispersion sc screen. Okay. Next step, <clears throat> I drop in my screen. And you notice I have this on scale. I don't know what it's reading because it's backwards. So have it on the scale. In comes my self-leveling damper. There's 100 and... 98. 198. Yeah, you call them out so I don't have to do it backwards. <clears throat> now, I've worked pretty hard making a really a nice grind here. Okay, good distribution. I don't have density problems uh, with my grinder. And... Um, what I want to do, since I know I'm going to do pre-infusion, I don't want to uh, over-press. I don't want to over-tamp. I want to kind of keep the, the bed open so the water will flow into it, no matter how fine I'm grinding. So with one finger, I have to look over here. There's 500. That's a pound. 750 is what I usually do. Okay, that's really all it takes. At this point, I'm ready to put in the water and pull my shot. My screen is tamped down there. The little pyramids are all full of coffee. I pour in the water. The tamper fits very tightly, so if there's any coffee that's, that's dragged on the sides here, it generally pushes it down, so you get a real clean pour when you pour in the, in the water. And... Um, works good. I think that the, uh, the goal was to remove a few variables and I still have my water temperature, my beans, but most importantly once I am able to prepare the portafilter basket identically every time including the weight of the tamper then I'm able to change my grind in order to know that that's the only variable that I'm changing change my grind. I want to I want to have everything work back to the grinder. And so if I'm a little fast, a little slow, I don't have to change my tamp, I don't have to change my basket prep. All I do is change the grind. So that's the the system. The rake, the screen tamper. There you have it. I hope this has been informative and uh, thank you for watching.